Are we taking books? Um, are you gonna read that? Like, just in case you put it back because <laughs> that just doesn't look like a book you read. <laughs> I just think, just double think, maybe. Yeah. How's it guys and welcome back. My name is Rachel. If you guys haven't checked out any of my videos before, I have a lifestyle and a beauty blog. It's called Sincerely Blonde. So today I'm doing something like super casual and a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys what I'm packing for my upcoming Thailand trip. I'm so, so excited. Um, we're leaving in a few days, so I thought I'd get a head start and that way I can also see if there's anything I still need to buy at the shops. So yeah, let's get started. Our plan is to actually just go with one bag. So we are going to be packing super light. So if you see this and you're thinking like, wow, where is half your stuff? Every single YouTube video I've watched and people that I've chatted to that have gone to Thailand, they've said literally pack way lighter than you normally would for an, a usual trip. Because A, it's super hot there. So mostly you just want to be comfortable. And B, you can buy a lot of stuff there. So yeah, let's get started. Hey okay, guys, so I've got a little bit of my Diskin bags lying out and about here. I picked up a cute little solid raincoat from Anissa yesterday and this is the kind of the start of the clothing. So I literally just started the bag before I decided to actually turn it into video. So you can see here I've got some shoes started. So I've got a pair of slops for Cam, one for him, and I've got three for myself. I've got a pair of Mr. Price, kind of like a wooden, what would you call it, like a yeah, cork meal, not wooden. Some plastic Manito shoes, like these are so comfy, they slip on and off so so easily. And then these are my sliders from Cotton On. I took these to Dubai last year and they were ultra ultra comfy. And I've just packed in Cam's raincoat, it's an awesome one from Due South. We are going when the rainy season kind of starts, so I think it would be important to take a rain mac for walking or being out on the islands or the boats. Okay. So this is the raincoat I bought from Miniso. It came in like a cute little bag. It was literally $39.99. I don't think that it's going to win any quality awards. But hey, you know, I wasn't that keen to spend so much money before trip. So I'm literally gonna put that just like this in the bag. And the bag that we are using for our trip, it's one of our favorites. It's the K-Way Stowaway 70 liter. It can take so much more than you think it can and yeah it really keeps everything protected okay so i'm going to start with cam's clothing over here so obviously we need a few pairs of shorts so i've picked three pairs of shorts for cam and one kind of pair of like exercise shorts because we're planning on going on some hikes so i'm just going to layer these Cool, so I'm just going to put Cam's pants in now. So I've got the four pairs of pants for Cam. Now I'm going to go into my... Sh <laughs> I'm going to go into my shorts. So I've got a little bit of like yoga, sort of Pilates exercise pants, a grey pair of shorts, a little cute pair of high-waisted paper bag shorts, and a nice white pair of linen shorts. I'm probably going to come back and be like, wow, I seriously overpacked. So I will definitely let you guys know. I mean, this bag is looking really small now for the two of us. But we do have a backpack each, so I will try and fit some of the clothing in the back. So if you watched my video on my Thailand haul, you would know I bought a lot of USN protein bars because me and Cam both love them. So I'm going to pack a few of those now in the bag, maybe in a paper packet, just so that we can start getting that out of the way. I'm going to take four of them in the carry-on luggage, so I'll put those aside. So it only really leaves only really leaves five actually for the trip. So that's not actually as much not as bad as I thought. So I got this little goodie bag at an event last week and I think that it's gonna I'm gonna take it with you know for wet swimming costumes. And then I'm gonna use this little um, toiletry bag for our medical stuff. So so we have some betadine, we have some Mylacore, rehydrate sachets, an empty crunch bar. Me and Cam like literally love these things. Okay, and then I think you always need some, everyone has said to me like dental wipes, dental wipes, dental wipes. So we're going to pack these. Okay, and then I've got, you know, some after sun gel some peaceful sleep. People recommended taking Cantrixel, which is 
Mysteries don't even know. I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> and this is some sort of like low grade antibiotic. Plasters. Plasters are like always a good idea. And I'm gonna take three of these sort of like medical grade huge plasters just in case one of us cuts our leg or something. And then this is an alcohol cleansing pad. Need all of these. So that's pretty much the whole medical side of the packing. So that's the medical bag. So packing a bit more on the toiletries. I'm gonna to pack in the micellar wipes which I spoke about for removing makeup. Two random things just to pack quickly. These are inflatable pillows that I bought for me in camp on the beach. Um line on the beach I'll show you guys quickly how the bag is looking in terms of fullness so this is how we are at right now we've got our little wipes and start of a trip a bag I cannot wait I'm so excited so continuing on with the packing now I'm gonna move on to cam shirts I just realized that cam has taken one t-shirt and four vests which I find really hilarious so I'm probably going to get him one more t-shirt because I don't think he understands you can get sunburnt and you're going to wish that you had t-shirts. I'm just going to pack him this Under Armour grey shirt. It's so light and it dries extremely quickly. I haven't actually packed my t-shirts at all so I'm probably going to have to take a bit of a video break and then find my shirts. The best part about packing is also being able to like get rid of some of the waste that kind of collects. Just to start off with the costumes. Everyone says, you know, take rash vests because it, you get really, really burned. So I'm packing us each a rash vest. We obviously had these. So if, if you don't have them, I'm sure it's not train smash. But we are planning to spend a lot of time at the beach and in the sun and snorkeling. So I'm even taking these little, like, leopard print. They're like a swimming material, swimming costume material, which I think will be cool, you know, for... Uh, for for snorkeling okay and then these are some of my um dresses that i'll be taking so this is like a really nice long flowy dress from h&m i literally wore this as a staple last year when we went to dubai so i think that it will be a good you know idea to try it again this year so just obviously to be like 100 percent safe and sure i'm gonna pack these the sunscreen, or the body sunscreen, the Art Sun Gel and the Peaceful Sleep in this bag just so that it doesn't um, mess in case it does for some reason mess. And these are just some other products that I'm going to be packing with. I just don't like to take chances when it comes to leaking products. Okay, so continuing on with the dresses, I'm going to pack this little white cute summer dress. Obviously it's not zipped up now so it looks not that great but it's such a nice dress for walking and then I'm also going to pack this cute little Mr. Price jumpsuit I love this doesn't look like much now but it buttons up into such a cute style it's nice and cool and it looks really really nice you know with a little pair of sandals and then this little dressy as well it's so nice I love it it's very nice and long and flowy and you know, it doesn't feel tight or uncomfortable because when it's really hot, you don't really feel like anything that's too tight. This is a cool kimono that I got from Cotton On um, last year for Dubai. I'm going to take it with because it makes a really, really nice sort of cover up if you're in your costume and you don't really feel like putting on anything too thick. I'm going to put this in my carry on bag because. This bag is not full, but it is definitely getting fuller, and I want to try and maximize a bit on space. Cool, so I've packed quite a lot of the stuff that we'll be taking. Another thing I'm going to take with is a sports bra, you know, for some good hikes. I know this angle is not doing anything right now, because we're hoping, you know, to do as many hikes as possible, and I think it would be cool just to take that along. I bought this hat. I really hope that I end up wearing it. I, it you know, sometimes you buy things with a really good intention and then, uh, yeah, they just don't really end up being practical. <laughs> so this is how full the bag is right now. 
I still got my clothes, all of my underwear. I mean, not my clothes, like I've still got to put my shirts. And we've still got to put all of our underwear in it, in here. And then, like, what? That's just random stuff. I don't know. And like my costumes. No, don't put that back in the bed. So then for later, it's going to show. Um. How many bits of underwear are you taking? This is four. So you're going to take. Uh, I suppose you shouldn't take two weeks. Not that, I'll probably take a bit six, more than that. Maybe six. Yeah. Okay, do you want to fold them nicely and put them into the thing, in the middle? Are they going to be in, in the... the are we taking books? Yo, bro, are you going to read that? Like. Just think carefully before you pack because <laughs> that just doesn't look like a book you read. <laughs> I just think, just double think, maybe. Yeah. No, well, I'm just saying, like, do you read that here in, in Cape Town? Because if you don't read it here in Cape Town, you're probably not going to read it. No, you're not going to read it in Thailand. So I'm just pick, packing some vests now. Obviously, we are going there to spend as much time as possible on the beach. So, really looking forward to. Chilling, so I'm not really taking any winter wear. I hope that's not going to be a regret, but if not, we can just buy stuff. Obviously, you need some cozies, that's obviously a must. So, I'm probably going to take three costumes. this? Yeah, yeah. I haven't worn this yet. Okay, so I've packed three costume bottoms and three costume tops. I'm sure that will be more than enough. And, um,. I've just tried to pack a few little pairs, like, you know, of this, for example, of the shorts. Um, like, light cotton drawstring type clothing. We're not going to be going there to do anything fancy or anything like that. So, I really don't think we're going to need... I'm not taking anything formal. Awesome. So, I think I've pretty much packed the majority of my things now. I've got a list here of what I still need to pack. And that is caps, uh, toiletries my underwear, socks for both of us, books for the plane, and get our documents and our cash ready. So the, base, the basics that we've packed obviously are swimming clothes, shorts, t-shirts, some summer dresses, um, loads of uh, costumes, and wet uh, rash vests, <laughs> and a raincoat each, and then we are packing a lot, you know, of sunscreen after sun um, sunglasses we've gone really really light on the packing I'll actually show you now how the bag is looking there is the medical uh, kit yeah it's my carry-on bag we use a juta it's really really comfy and you can't really see anything in there I've got my shirts in there and then this is the bag for both of us you know it actually you can see it's not even that big and we've gone really really light um, with our packing and then I've just started here on the toiletry. So this is my carry-on. I'm really excited. I'm going to be using this Neostrata Sheer Physical Protection. Um, it's an SPF 50, so that should be good. And then I'm like taking on the plane like some Clinique Moisture, sur moisture Surge. Little mini eight hour, you know, and I'll probably put something in there also to remove my makeup. And then also just in my toiletries this is like a super super small bag I literally just have the mentality right now that if i don't pack it i can totally buy it and i think that is something so important with travel we can spend so much time thinking about packing everything perfectly but there's always stores where you are so if you forget something it doesn't really matter so that kind of like brings the end of my packing i still need to pack all my camera equipment our gopro chargers power banks and all the tech stuff so i won't be sealing the bag until later on in the week there obviously will still be some stuff that we're going to think about. I just wanted to get the basics of the packing done so that I know where we stand and what we still need to buy. I really hope that you liked this video. I can't wait to take you guys along on our trip to Thailand. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment about your crazy travel stories. And if you're excited to see more Thailand vlogs and activities, make sure to subscribe because I'm literally going to be videoing the whole holiday. So I'll see you in my next video and I hope that you guys have an awesome day.